Good morning and welcome to episode 18 of The Daily Light. Today I want to speak to you about believing is seeing. And I know you're used to hearing seeing is believing, but when it comes to acting as a person of faith, we know that it's faith that activates the power of God. So our mindset should be believing is seeing. So to speak about this, I want to read to you from the chapter chapter 9 of the Gospel of Matthew today, which is probably my favorite gospel. Now, here's what's going on in Jesus' life. So we knew that he grew up, you know, and he was this carpenter. He was the son of Mary and Joseph, and people knew him. So now he starts preaching, he starts going around, and there's all these miracles that are being done by his hands, and people are just chasing after him. And everywhere he goes, people are asking to be healed, for, for miracles to happen. So he's going to heal a sick child, and as he's walking to that person's house, two blind men follow him. And in chapter 9, verse 27 in the Gospel of Matthew, let's read what happens. As Jesus moved on from there, two blind men followed him, shouting, Son of David, help us. When he was about to enter the house, the blind men caught up with him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do what you want? And they answered, Yes, sir. Then Jesus touched their eyes and said, As you have believed, so let it be. And their eyes were opened. Now, right before here, we read in verse 22 of a woman that went up to Jesus when he was walking and she believed that if she touched him, just his cloak, he would be healed. And Jesus says to her, courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And over here to the blind man, we hear Jesus ask him, do you believe that I'm able to do what you want? And they said, yes. And he says, as you have believed. So now it's time for us to question ourselves. What do we believe? Because we can make requests of God all day long. But do we believe? Are we acting in faith? Here's some things that these two people had in common. So the woman that went up to Jesus to touch his cloak, we read in the Gospel of Mark that there was a huge crowd around Jesus. And she was thinking to herself, if I can just touch his cloak, make it through the crowds, I'm going to be healed. In fact, she did, and Jesus felt the power leave his cloak. Like, she didn't need this elaborate prayer. She didn't need to, like, get down on her knees and beg him. She just needed to believe. She didn't even ask him. She just touched his cloak, and she was healed. And then we have these, these men, these blind men that followed him around. Because what they're doing is showing that they have the action of faith. Because no, no person's going to follow Jesus around if they didn't really think that he could heal them. They were acting in faith already, going to get the miracle that they knew they deserved. So are you doing that? Am I doing that in my life when I ask God for something? Am I already acting as I already have it? Because if we believe before we see, then we're already acting according to that belief. All of our actions are in gratitude for having already received what we're waiting for. You see, because it's only our faith that's going to activate the healing power of God. So Jesus says, as you have believed, so let it be. It's totally on you and it's totally on me to receive what we want from God. If you don't have that faith, I mean, Jesus says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can tell that mountain move and it will move. But do you have even that? If you're not seeing the hand of God acting in your life today, then you have to question your faith. Do you believe? Or are you holding on to doubt? Are you holding on to fear? That's what's keeping you back. That's what is keeping you from seeing the power of God in your life. You need to let that go. You need to pray. You need to listen to this right now and take at least five minutes to tell Jesus, Jesus, I know I'm full of fear. I know I'm full of doubt, but I want to give it all up to you today because I want to see your power in my life. I want to see you transform my heart. I want to see you transform my life and the lives of those people that I'm always praying for. It's your faith that activates the power of God. Know that, believe that, work on your faith, and have an amazing day. God bless you.